Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, factor uh, this qua um, not quadratic, this uh, polynomial by using grouping. And whenever I see four terms and I'm asked to graph um, to factor it, I always look into, can I factor this by grouping? So to do that, um, what I'm going to do is I need to group the first two terms and the last two terms. Now, I know by grouping it this way, you're going to look at this and say, oh, well, um, you know, it looks like now I created this into a product. Well, it's not a product, it's just a way of us grouping them. Because now what we're going to do is when we look at the grouping, we want to see, can we factor out the GCF? Now, if you can't factor out a GCF of each of the grouping terms, what I'd recommend is rewrite your two middle terms. And then again, if you still can't factor out a GCF within the parentheses, then the uh, polynomial is not factorable. <coughs> Excuse me. In this case, though, we see that we actually have some common terms of, in our first two terms and our last two terms. The common term of x cubed plus 5x squared is just going to be x squared. So I can factor out an x squared. And when factoring out an x squared, I'm just going to be left with an x plus 5, right? So by factoring out that x squared, I'm left with that x plus 5. Then I look at these two terms and say, all right, what is my common factor of negative 9x and negative 45? Well, negative 9 divides into negative 9x as well as to negative 45. So that would be my greatest common factor. So therefore, that gives me x. What am I doing? That gives me x plus 5. Okay. Now, what we notice is that between these two expressions, I have common factors of x plus 5. So since I have two common factors of x plus 5, I can now factor out that common factor x plus 5. So when I factor out the common factor x plus 5 from both of my expressions, I am now left with x squared, x squared minus 9. Okay, And you guys can, again, go ahead and you know, see if this works by applying FOIL, you know, destroy your property, to be able to see, am I going to get back my original equation? And when you do that, you will see that is correct. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you factor by grouping. Thanks.